Okay, peeps, so here's a first time for us. We're down in Cape May for the Cape May Whale Watcher and Dolphin Tour thing. Uh, hopefully we'll see something today. If not, at least we get a day out on the water. Uh, well, keep you posted and try and add some video of whatever goes on. So basically, got our boarding passes. Just waiting to see which boat we're on. One of those two, I'm guessing. Probably the one that says Whale Watcher. Uh, that's basically it. I said about 10 minutes before boarding, so now we're just playing the waiting game. So we are all about to head out to the open water. I just wanted to give you a little view of what we're seeing as we're leaving. Even if we don't see anything out there today, whale-wise, dolphin-wise, etc., at least we get to enjoy two hours out on the water. Yeah, the I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see it in this video, but like this boat is leaving a huge smoke cloud behind it. I think it's burning a oil or some shit. But we are actually out on the ocean now. There's the land over there. Out of the water out there. D wave. Some other people. Uh, so we're on the hunt for dolphins. Basically, they say we would see the dolphins before anything else. So that's what we're looking for. So, peeps, we're about an hour into our two hour tour on a loud ass boat. It's getting cold like crazy from my mother-in-law or some stupid party she had or whatever. Later, like later, later today. Um, anyhow, so far, nothing. No whales, no dolphins. I suppose we saw some stingrays or whatever, or some, some kind of rays, but we're going at good luck trying to capture a picture and all that. Uh, like I said, we're about an hour into our two hour tour. Who knows if we're going to see anything during the second hour or not. But if we do, that's usually when it does happen. Uh, if not, whatever. Midwife. Midwife, sir. We're not going to get any of the dolphin footage, but. Let's see what's going on. Anything were to happen to the mother dolphin left side, I'm going to have this now. Supposedly they're moving around on the left side now, not the right, but. After female dolphin gives birth, the first act is being There was some that were behind the boat that we passed. The surface for their first breath of fresh air. Let them know that's where they got to go to breathe. If we get anything else. After she's uh, carried her calf for those 12 months. It's not the end of the relationship, not at all. Uh, it's just the beginning of new things. She's going to become the nursing mom. Uh, let's go back she's going to nurse her calf uh, for 12 months. And after that, she's going to become the teacher. And she'll teach her calf. For another 12 months. See, behind the us. World. Just in case. Goddamn fly on my screen, that's about it. Oh well. Fortunately, I didn't get footage of the dolphins. But who knows, we might see more. We still got uh, just under an hour to go. Okay, let's hope we get something this time. Out of the Delaware Bay off to our right here each year. This time of year is starting to redistribute up and down the coast. We find that interesting not only because the dolphins eat it, but it's also when humpback whales eat it. Oftentimes when we stop on a group of feeding dolphins back out here, there. we can come across humpback whale feeding in that same area. This is where our most recent reports from so back around. Line of dolphins up ahead of us here. Working right along this timeline tonight. Right we got some more dolphins back behind us on the right there. Just keep looking around. If you don't see them yet, turn your head and look around here. They are in motion all through here. Rolling on the surface out in front of us. 
Humpback whales can grow to be 25 to up to 50 feet in length. They weigh up to 35 tons. 70,000 pounds. More impressive than that is what they eat. They eat 2,000 pounds of fish every day. So each one of these dolphins eats 10 to 15 pounds of fish a day. A humpback whale eats 2,000 pounds of fish every day. That's why we're talking about fish. That's why we're talking about bumper. We're looking for an animal that consumes 2,000 fish every day. We even see it. The dolphins are members of the order Cetacean. That term Cetacean over there. refers to a group of 80 different marine mammals which are broken up into two suborders. It's toothed whales, baleen whales. There's the the of dolphins, they are toothed whales. Okay. They are grouped in with other toothed whales that side. includes other dolphins, porpoise, orcas, pilot whales, belugas. Those are all examples of a toothed whale. Larger whales like humpback whales, fin whales, right whales, blue whales, those are all baleen whales do not have teeth. In lieu of teeth, they have baleen plates in the roof of their mouth. They use the baleen like a big filter. They filter their food out of seawater and then swallow it whole. Up ahead, right side, start to surface. Yeah. And it's the line of the water to the left. Hopefully I'm getting something over here. That's the nature of the tide line. Put the currents and a lot of different kinds of life around it including all these dolphins up ahead of us here. Anyhow, I hope I caught something like that. I'm just going to tell you because there was a group that was following the boat. <laughs> they're going to pop up and they're floating around. There's some over there directly ahead of us. Every now and then you see the dolphins on the surface like that and you can see their eyes. Remember, dolphins have up great up on that vision side, above behind and below the surface. Right side, you apparently see their eyes, they're going on the people watch. They're watching you, watching them. <laughs> we definitely found the area. Checking us out and seeing who's out in the big red and white boat today. Even though dolphins have great vision above and below the surface, they navigate using a different sense. Something we don't possess as humans, which is echolocation there you go. or sonar. But this no, is it's actually a sound pulse up, but... or vocalization that the dolphins emit from the melon portion of their body. This sound travels from the water in front of the dolphin when it bounces off of objects like the bottom of the ocean, the bottom of the boat, I got some kind of other dolphins, or fish. The sound there you is go. Back. I'm trying to see if I can capture the show here. The dolphins, they keep popping up out of the water over here. There you go.
have finally stumbled upon the right spot because they've been all over the place all of a sudden. Anyhow, and I think that's all I'm going to do for now, man. Uh, if we do anything else today, I'll put that in here. Where they go when they leave. Just with photographs. 